Are these shrimps ready, Ajumma? He asked while making the salad to the head man. He is in her fifties, so everyone calls her Ajumma. Yes, dear, take a look. He walked towards the stove counter and stood beside her. Hmm, they are looking delicious. Thank you so much, Ajumma, for making them for me. Once I learn this recipe, then I want pottery. He giggled as she patted your shoulder. What bother, kid? I have been making them for Jungkook since his childhood. She was most likely Jungkook's nanny as his parents stayed busy. She most of the time looked after him and respected her like his mother. Yeah, I know, but as a wife, I should also know his favorite dish recipe, so I could cook for him, right? You're right, don't worry, you'll learn this too. Now come on, let's set the table. Jungkook has gotten fresh and will be coming down. I know, Ajumma, you have helped me a lot. I'll satisfy myself. We leave at 8, but it's past 8 now because I made you stay. He looked at her apologetically as she looked, shook her head while chuckling. It's okay, my dear. Don't be sad. I'll leave now. Hmm, I'll ask the drivers to drop you. Don't deny it, or Jungle will get angry to let you go out alone at night. He sat the table, and soon Jungkook also walked into the dining room after getting fresh to remove his tiredness from the whole day. Ajumma has cooked special shrimps for me. He nodded and took a seat, as did you. You both started having your meals in the usual silence that today was broken by the loud ring of Jungkook's phone call. Jungkook was eating to pick up the call. Alex, what? You flinched when Jungkook suddenly shouted and stood up. The heck are you saying, Alex? How could it be? Who did that? Uh, I'm coming right now. Jungkook, who was yelling with his face all red, instantly cut the call and ran away. You were left with a puzzled mind and worried as something bad must have happened that made him angry and rush away. We came out into the living room to see Jungkook coming downstairs in a rush, but you didn't stop him to ask because the first time you witnessed this situation and stopped Jungkook to ask if everything was okay. He answered rudely, never ever try to stop me when I'm going somewhere, stay away from my affairs. If a person could be killed by players, then I must have at that time. All my worries then interfere and probably I never repeated those things. Our marriage was purely based on a business deal, something I didn't know. I thought it was a simple arranged marriage. But after six months, I got to know about this from my parents, who told me, you have to spend only eight more months, then you will be divorced. I wasn't surprised but disappointed again. I have been stopped talking to them for the past two months, but they didn't come to convince me because since my childhood until now, they only care about their business. I can't blame the Jiyoon because they thought I was aware of the deal and even agreed to the marriage knowing about it. Jungkook is so cool. I just saw him at breakfast and diet. The whole day he stayed busy in office work and after dinner in mafia work, even while eating he doesn't talk much. Oh god, why did he get me the top rank while making unfortunate people? It's 1am now, he's still not here. Lost in your thoughts, sleeping began taking over you as soon as you closed your eyes. No one ever dared set the warehouse on fire knowing it belongs to Jiyoon. His loud yell echoed in the living room that made your eyes open with a flinch. You sat straight. Jungkook walked in all red in anger. His eyebrows scrunched together. 
jaw and his blanching and unclenching. Behind him was his wife and man, Alex. Someone did this time. I swear, if I don't sell that someone, in fact, I want it at risk. Alex, I want the person in the basement by morning. He shouldn't see the sun. His boss, who he had heard, made his way upstairs without giving a damn to the throne there or anyone, while Alex followed and left. Meanwhile, he noticed his knuckles that had scratches, his shirt that had black ashes stain, where he took over you and these eight months you never saw him coming back from mission injured. So the thought that he might be injured were you, and he didn't just sit unbothered knowing he might be in pain. So as soon as he went to ascend the stairs, he suddenly got up and followed him. He entered the bedroom and saw Nuhu tying his wallet and phone on the bed before ruffling his hair. He walked near him. Jungkook, you okay? You asked while putting your hand on his shoulder that he yanked away and said while gritting his teeth without turning. Go away from him. Are you still telling me I injured? You asked while holding his arm in order to turn him around. That annoyed him and I flew in his burning anger. He turned around sweetly that mean to step the back and Prince went shout. When I told you to leave me then do, you have got explain to do. Stop pretending like you care about me. It's not like you're still unaware about the fact. That we are in contract marriage, where no you didn't poke your nose into my business, so as me into yours. Tell me, did I ever ask you anything? Don't you leave me if you want. He shouted while pointing his finger at you, while he did was yelling. The facts that was harsh to your heart, you also having enough, and shout back. Suddenly, you knowing you might be injured. I'm well aware about the fact that it's all contract marriage, but I do care for you. I don't pretend you interfere in my life. Ask me whatever you want, I'll answer you. Maybe for you, I and this marriage means nothing, but for me, it was pure marriage without any deal and business. Your voice broke, but you still controlled. I was going to accept you and this marriage by my whole heart. I didn't ask you to do that for me. His real mom did. Stop blaming my mom and blame your parents. Why did they hide that from you? They helped your parents and in return my father gave you the boat. His words got cut off as you pulled him by his collar and attacked your leg. Jungkook was taken aback by your sudden action, while your eyes closed tightly. He softly skimmed his lips while tears were escaping from your eyes. My action was involuntary. I knew what them in my mind. My hands were on your own, and now I realized that I actually pulled him in a kiss and scared to pull back. He was already angry. And after this is done, he'll be more. What are you gonna do? I know he'll not appreciate this stunt of mine. After all, I'm nothing to him. He doesn't see me as his wife. He doesn't have feelings for me like I have for him. This all made my heart shatter into pieces. I have to let him go. I kiss him softly to satisfy my love, but at the same time, it hurts knowing it is my last kiss as well. Gathering the courage, I pulled back, looking down. I'm sorry, I shouldn't kiss you. As soon as the jungle came out of the trance and realized that you just kissed him, that made him too much shocked to respond. You were about to turn to leave, but the tug in your arm swiftly told you that you're just alive with the heart you want. You looked up to see Jungkook leaning and seeing his lips capture yours in a deep and rough kiss. 
the video more please share it by your views make sure to like his anchor Marley down to the kid it was giving him kind of peace and calm that he was longing for his whole life he couldn't get enough of kissing you he kissed the guy you by wrapping your legs around his torso and lay you down on the bed with him over you before pulling away with hammer grip What are you talking about? You know, when you said your mom asked me to. Actually, your mom always asked me where did my child. When I got to know this all was based on the video, she told me your child is kind of hurt. Our side, her eyes were flaming as we made it. The deal is always based on both sides of benefits, right? So, on my side, your parents wanted you to settle down. A happy married life before marriage to hide from you because you know you want every for the marriage of the marriage because you know how much the girl said you are I don't know you shrug your shoulders as you read the idol girl said yes maybe after knowing a mingo you won't let our relationship work out or something Moreover, your mom said that we could extend the contract in which we won't get divorced in a year in order to work this marriage. But to be honest, I personally wanted to work this marriage from the beginning. It was not my marriage for me and seeing you, I was too determined to make this all for me. I got hurt knowing you will be part after six months. When all my efforts went in vain, but when your mom told me about it all, I hope raised in me. Now knowing this all, you don't want this marriage, then I back off. Your words got cut off by the back on your lips. I'm sorry for saying this all. I didn't mean that. You and this marriage means to me a lot as well as with the rubbish and frustration. To be honest, I noticed all of the effort and they were creating a soft spot in my heart that was a strange feeling for me and annoying me. I knew all of this will end. That's why I behaved cool by later knowing that you know, after getting aware of our contract, you treat me the same way. But so I wasn't sure whether you'll stay or divorce me. But now I know you won't leave me, I'm ready to give this marriage a chance. I never did this relationship, but I try to show all my love. Man, he patted your forehead, a smile came on your lips, and helped you. Allow me, I wanna do it, you're promising you'll go anywhere after informing me. You know now how much worried I get every time you laugh like that. Oh, now I'll not make you worry, promise. Good, now get up.